Hello, I'm Dr. James Bogash, Master of Health and Longevity and creator of Modern Health Myths. And today we're going to talk about Parkinson's disease, a neurodegenerative disorder where the brain uh, can't control tremors or movements anymore. And so um, we probably are a lot more familiar with it because things like Muhammad Ali and Michael J. Fox have been diagnosed with that. Before that, Parkinson's is just never really entered into the spotlight like it has when uh, those two people have have developed um, Parkinson's. The challenge, just like Alzheimer's, is that we don't really have any effective treatments. We can use drugs like L-DOPA, but those have their list of side effects. The real challenge and the real answer is in prevention, just like it is for everything else. That means doing things that don't increase your risk, as well as doing things that um, that will protect and lower your risk. And there are there's a long list. This particular study looked at almost 700 patients. At They looked at 31 risk factors that might play a role in Parkinson's, and they found a pretty decent list of things that contribute to increased or decreased risk. And so we're going to go over those in a minute. I'll also put them in the comment section just so they're easier to kind of look at. But the reality is this has everything to do with how the brains, how your brain cells generate energy. So if you happen to remember from high school biology, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell and it makes ATP. The bottom line is the better that we can get those brain cells to function from an energy standpoint, the better off they will be. That's why things that destroy brain energy will increase the risk of Parkinson's, while things that protect or support brain energy will lower the risk of Parkinson's. Exact same scenario with Alzheimer's, it's just for some reason the brain, those dying cells attack uh, or occur in different areas of the brain instead of Parkinson's, which, to be technical, it's in the, the um, dopaminergic cells of the substantia nigra, and um, ultimately Parkinson's disease in almost all cases are considered fatal. Oh, by the way, Ozzy was also recently diagnosed with Parkinson's, even though they say it's a slower progressive form, but still. Um, so getting back to the study where they looked at almost 700 people, and they looked at for things that increased and decreased the risk. Some of these we've known for a long time. Pesticide exposure increased risk 230%. Now, geez, oh, Pete, I remember hearing about part pesticides and Parkinson's disease probably almost 20 years ago. And so that's not new information. Um, it may be to some people, it may be to some neurologists, but unfortunately the research suggesting that pesticides are not good for our brain is not new. Uh, that means sticking with organic fruits and vegetables when possible is always going to be better. Coffee led to a pretty substantial 40% reduction in risk of Parkinson's. Again, we've known that for a while. Uh, coffee, as is, is actually very good for us. It's all the crap we put in it that destroys it. But black coffee has been shown to be good for the brain, Parkinson's included. One of the, the things that they found that decreased risk is a little bit of a conundrum, and that's cigarette smoking, which they found that lowered the risk about 30%. Again, that's not exactly new news. It's certainly, I wouldn't take up smoking just so you can protect your brain from Parkinson's. It might have something to do with nicotine, which plays a role in the brain and neurotransmitters. It could be that simple, but there's enough toxins in smoke to cigarette smoke to, to certainly throw things the other way if we're not careful. Physical activity, being active, which is really good for the brain, is 20% lower risk. Um, dyspepsia. So having digestive problems that probably led to taking medication. 
I just recently put up a video about how dangerous this class of drugs is, the ones that block stomach acid. It led to an 80% higher risk of Parkinson's, but you start screwing up digestion and you open up an entire Pandora's box of downstream brain problems. Uh, family history, which there's nothing you can do about, so I'll throw it out there, but 320%, that's a pretty significant risk, but you really can't change it. Um, other than understanding that these other things that we're talking about become that much more important if you have a family history. Um, oils, which the, the abstract wasn't that specific about, but it had a pretty substantial 560% increase. Now, it wouldn't surprise me if if we looked and found that like the corn oils and the safflower oils and those oils associated with processed foods and chips would increase risk substantially because they're generally pro-inflammatory. So again, not a terribly big surprise, but the amount of increase was definitely substantial. Uh, metals, heavy metals. So think um, lead, mercury, cadmium, um, all these things that we shouldn't have in our brain, but are 280% uh, increased risk. So that, again, that's pretty substantial. But heavy metals destroy the machinery of our brain that makes energy. So again, very consistent. Uh, interestingly enough, cigarette smoking usually introduces cadmium into the blood. So um, some, some things to consider there. The other one that surprised me a little bit, but I guess if you really think about it, was having undergone general anesthesia. 610% increase out of the list, like that was highest. Uh, obviously, any type of surgery has its risks associated with it. It may just be that anesthesia obviously suppresses brain activity. That's how we get the anesthesia. And it may be that this ultimately damages the brain in some way that leads to later risk of Parkinson's. So again, a little bit of a surprise, but if we kind of looked at it from a different angle, maybe it's not as shocking as we think. Um, I'll put these specific percentages in the comment section, but as always, make sure you uh, su subscribe to the channel, like this video, and share it with somebody who you think needs this information.